there's a Beaver Creek canoe launch. Uh, it's Beaver Creek off and on through here. And that's where we're headed today. on my camera and stuff, but uh, I need to charge everything over again. I did the uh, museum with the landscape camera, and the other ones have just been sitting there. So they probably need charge too. There's two batteries for the older camera. I exchanged lenses on, and then uh, <clears throat> just one battery for the landscape camera. Uh, it's probably time to buy a second battery for that one.
should be Ohio Route 7, which runs along the Ohio River further south, along the Pennsylvania border toward the north. taking it all the way to the north. But I was on it in the southern end of Ohio in Pomeroy, Ohio and Gallipolis, Ohio just over two weeks ago. Just documenting our uh, electric car trip down to uh, North Carolina. Well, I'm going to cut you off for a minute and in a couple minutes I'll turn you back on. Keep cutting off for some reason. On Facebook, I have scenes of Beaver Creek State Park, scenes of Guilford Lake, Ohio, Salem, Ohio, and a few uh, at Guilford Lake, I said. And there's a Greenway Trail and stuff. So there's the old bridge and everything. Uh, there's a picture of my parents parked off in the grass. It's really actually photogenic today. So I might come back and take a photo. But we're going to make a loop here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's probably some videos on No Rust Studios. Some I did it well over a decade ago with an HD camera. But yeah, the phone's cut now quite a bit today. I'm not sure why. So this also loops around, and uh, you can stop at different spots along here. Some people fly fish and fish along the river. It's pretty shallow. Uh, there is kayaking, and uh, you got to be careful. They're shallow and deep spots. Like a couple of them. having a picnic. Some people have a picnic. You see people do photos down here. For engagements and weddings and graduations. The water's down a little bit. I don't think we've had rain for a little while. But I always thought it'd be nice to come down here and picnic with the sound of the water. There is a little mini lock up here that used to let water in to the little system here that goes down to the lock in the park and the mill. They call it a guard lock. Uh, <laughs> not one of the names I ever ever liked. So where they're walking there's the lock is just right there. And like I said it's just a half a lock and the doors would allow water to flow away from the stream of water down to the park to the mill and to the lock and sometimes they used the river for the Calvin now boats and sometimes they had a separate canal alongside the river they got good ears or this car and there's that bronco again Oh, they they dredged out the little pond here and refilled it. So that's all done. Wow, that's a good color, too, for the Bronco. So, yeah, my photo was, uh, there's a red building and some leaves in the back. That's a little early for that. It was a real nice golden photo, but uh, the bridge might be good today with the, uh, the sun reflecting off the yellow leaves and stuff, so we might uh, pull in. My parents parked their car on the left here, and it was a 47 Packer photo. This one, I don't know what year it was taken. I, th well, I'll stop here and take a look. The wind might be a little bit rough. Glad you're still with us. Yeah, the camera cut off twice already. So let's 
see if we can take out the camera equipment. See if, I know I gotta charge the battery, but there should be enough for a couple photos. We're gonna get you a moment there on my model. Pan down just a little bit, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> the little light indicators on the dash are, so you can look from the outside and see the states of charge when you're charging your battery. So uh, we should be able to head up that, uh, across the bridge and up a steep hill. It's kind of very beautiful today. We'll uh, open the lens up a little bit. Uh, we're going to get a, some leaf movement, it looks like, with the wind. But if we we'll wait too long, we'll miss our opportunity. So, talking quiet today. Um, and the towpath is across the creek there. And one day I fell into the water on the ice and uh, pulled my camera bag in, ready just to take a nap, and I realized my Buick was across the creek. And, uh, of course, my criteria is hiking uh, usually between 10 and 15 degrees Fahrenheit, so everything's very well frozen. All right, I'll cut you up and see you in a bit. Get you aim just right. All right. That's a pretty big valley. Carved out. And a little bit of window. I think I'll do it with the rear window this time. Let's see. We got horse riding and stuff. Uh, some of the trails that aren't supposed to be for horse riding, they tear it up. I'm using the horses on there and stuff. They need to stick to the horse trails. <clears throat> and here we go. Uh, I'm taking photos down here too of the mill and the road and the with the fall leaves is kind of nice, but uh, you know, all the trees don't reach peak at the same time, so it's the yellow and the red and the orange that make the most beautiful scenery or whatever in the fall. The road's in great shape. They had a beautiful single lane bridge down here that for some reason they replaced with a two lane bridge was fine and good. There was never a lot of traffic. Not enough to worry about putting my new bridge in. He just waited for the car to come across. It was all steel, steel gray. Made that noise on your tires that you came across it. But they must have had some extra money. Well, this is, yeah. You can see the mill down to the left there, straight ahead. We'll turn into the parking lot. It's actually pretty beautiful today. We'll take a video and stuff. You can do trails. Wow. You can do trails behind the mill. You, there's a trail that goes to a lock here called Gretchen's Lock. There's people that uh, do ghost hunts and Bigfoot hunts and I just do scenery hunts. Beauty spots for cameras and videos. So there was a community here uh, almost 200 years ago. And if you see the plaque on the rock to the left, it's like a little metal engraving and it shows the town of Spruce Vale. Just a few houses to keep the mill going. And the lock should be here on the left, kind of overgrown. Uh, maybe lock 41. Been a while since I've done the lock things. And we got a fairly new bathroom here. It's 
it's a hole in the ground and maybe they empty out and I don't think it goes down to the stream anymore but uh, maybe that might be the lock straight ahead of that hill there The locks and mills are popular near the water. And we'll see it on the way back. So this parking lot here, we, uh, I think me and my son did an after Christmas hike here over a decade ago. And I was talking to him about the Gretchen thing and the, the ghost. And we heard a look, sounded like a young woman's voice talking to us. And it was a little boy walking ahead of his dad who got a new fly fishing pole for Christmas. And it kind of rose the hair on the back of our neck. So. so you got trails for horses and where the people are going there, you go back a ways for Gretchen's Lock. So pretty nice. And as time reclaims things, you don't see the scenery you used to see on the trails and the roads. So you get to take you across the new bridge and up the hill. There's a lookout above that looks down upon this or whatever. But back in the old days, everything was cleared out. And uh, the environmentally thing, they don't do that quite anymore. They kind of keep things quiet. Oh, there's a hill on my side. And that's why I like the weekdays better than the weekends. But we were planning on going to Pennsylvania to pick up an antique boat motor, and that didn't work out, so. We're thinking about going to Buffalo to see the USS Little Rock, and we might wait till the full foliage is over, because we don't need the full foliage for visiting a Navy ship, and I'm sure it'll be there. Now I think we'll spend the next week or two making up for lost time and all the the fall I've missed over the last couple decades. So that may have, makes a good shot even in this kind of light there were some gnarly trees before they redid the bridge next to the uh, mill that made for beautiful gorgeous a little bit scary uh, photography for some reason they removed them all so now it's a two-lane road and there's no uh, it's a shorter bridge there's none of that wonderful sound. It's like they straightened out the curves and everything. So one of the, the next locks sat right here too. I think lock 42 perhaps. <clears throat> well, we're not sure where they're going. the street and somebody's in a hurry coming the other way. Why would you be in a hurry? Why? Uh, rush here, rush there. I wonder there's something to look at. You want to see it on your phone instead of being out there in the nature. There's an overlook here. There's the car with the blower that went by us when we were talking about my parents' backer. Two miles of must deal show over the advertised range of this car when it was new. So the car's advertised to go 226 miles. We're showing 229. They're basically uh, the way we're 
we're driving today, and it's probably a 260 miles of range, and then they hide quite a few miles. That uh, I can put an OBD2 in and read off the program on the phone that shows me the actual percentage of the battery and the, the actual miles, which is more than what they show. Just a way to keep people from running out of energy because there's you don't have the gas stations. Well, they redid this bridge. It might have been a one-lane bridge or something here years ago, too. So I guess they're asking for more traffic to come through now. So we'll head up on the freeway and come into Calcutta. And head, head way. You know, we don't want to go back the way we came. Uh, the camera is overheating, so when I'm done, we pull into Calcutta. Stick it down below so it cools off a little bit. Maybe we'll do Lisbon, Ohio, coming in the other way, and maybe we'll drive around Salem when we get back. As long as the camera doesn't overheat, and we'll post it to Facebook. the Ohio River Valley. So that water has to wind quite a few miles before it reaches the Ohio River. It goes into Pennsylvania, comes back, and then goes into Pennsylvania again and empties into the Ohio River. There's a little park down there with a boat ramp and stuff. But we'll do that at another time. And another person behind me. red bushes there. They got a whole road to pass. See you in a bit. We'll end our Beaver Creek State Park video here. Calcutta. It's a Long John Silver's and an A&W All-American Food. So we got a onion rings, an A&W burger, and A&W root beer. And uh, it's right next to Burger King showing two Whoppers for six dollars, which we used to be able to do not during COVID. But these are the next to kin. Next generation Whoppers or Junior Whoppers, two for six dollars. So, A and W still alive and well, part of Long John Silver's, Calcutta, Ohio. That's all for Beaver Creek State Park. Uh, there are other places here in Calcutta, plenty to eat. Have a great day.